Well, that escalated quickly. Woo! 123 to 98, the Phoenix Suns convincing game two winners over the Denver Nuggets. Two nothing lead as they go a mile high for game three on Friday and then game four on TNT on Sunday. Inside the NBA is presented by Kia from Studio J in Atlanta, Ernie Johnson, <coughs> Charles Barkley, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go, man. Good. Well, let's, jump good in, let's jump into the highlights so far. MVP. Trying to tie the series against Chris Paul, who's been outstanding. Jack, I'll give you the Nuggets in 24. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> DeAndre Ayton there. Nice. Jermichael Michael Green on the feed from the Joker. And Kenny said at halftime, the Joker has the ball, keep moving, he'll find you. Oh, what a well, great look that was. So at halftime, you guaranteed Denver was going to win. I did, because I thought they was going to have heart. I didn't know they was going to quit and lay an egg. Barton back in there after missing 20 games with a right hand. He gave him some good minutes, played 15. Dario Saric came in after uh, Aiton picked up a couple oh, early fouls. On, well, transition play. action here. What's Chris Paul going to do? He's fine. He's, He's fine. going to find the open man who's Saric for three. I bet you uh, my friend BK from Denver ain't going to be calling me bragging about the Nuggets anymore. <laughs> well, that's Brandon an interesting Cooper. point you make. And there's Brandon Jokic. Brandon. Brandon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, him and my boy Vic Lombardo, when things going good for the Nuggets, they blow up my phone. Yeah, they got out tonight. Now they're going to be blowing up other things. They ain't play like chicken nuggets tonight. They play like chicken gizzards. Ooh. Ooh. DeAndre Ayton's there. I like gizzards. Ten point, <laughs> ten point lead at the half. Jay Crowder for three. I ain't had no gizzards in about 15 years. It's hard to find them, Shaq. Ayton up top. They'll kill you. Tell them. Eaten. And then Chris Paul. Here's a 21 point lead for you. Man, Chitty, you, how many guys you see shoot the little mid-range jumper band Chris Paul? Not many. Um, Sam oh, Fowler, the mid-range shooter. That was Mikhail Bridges, and then this is Cameron. The dancer. The dancer. The dancer. Hey, I got to give you something. The dancer's been balling his yeah. whole pal. Private dancer. Dancer. Ooh, ooh, this is, ooh, this, ooh, oh, 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 like that. See, oh, oh, now what you're going to do? Find oh, Corey Craig. Oh. I'm your mm. match back. Sun's making it look easy. That's all I thought it was. Yep. Come on, you got to get back. You gotta, come on, man. You got to stop. He should have had to pass, though. That's effort. Let's end it with uh, CP3. What do you say? Bang. Bang, bang. 17 points, 15 assists, no turnovers. First wow. player in playoff history to have three games of 15 or more assists and zero turnovers. 123 to 98 is the final. So the Nuggets down two zip, and uh, let's hear what Michael Malone has to say. Uh, I saw one team that uh, wanted to be here and play with a purpose and urgency, uh, and one team that did not want to be here uh, and play with no urgency. Uh, and that's why we got our ass kicked. We had a lot of guys play really bad tonight, uh, and then we allowed the, the, the impact of not making a shot to affect uh, the other end. And it was really, I mean, playoff basketball. Can you sit down and guard one-on-one? -on -one? Um, was, this, this was just an embarrassing performance uh, all the way around from top to bottom. 123-98 uh, is the final. You get the first crack at it. He's absolutely correct. Uh, guys weren't hitting shots, so they sulked, they quit, they settled. Kenny made an interesting point the other day, talking about the Joker. You already explained that in the losing effort, if, if Joker averages 24, they lose 31. 37 need, when, 30, they, when they, they were yeah, winning, yeah. Yeah, 37. Need him to be more aggressive. And also need him to control the pace of the game and the pace of his team. I don't know if he's a vocal guy or not, but... From my experience, when I'm playing and we, you keep shooting threes and I haven't touched the ball, I had a look, Ernie. Hey, man. Yeah. Let's get it together. And, you know, they just, like, you know, Coach said, the shots weren't falling. They just sulking and they quit. And they just stopped playing. And Phoenix, they know it's at stake. They know they're at home. They know that they can't let this team creep. I thought being by 10, because I've seen Dean, uh, Denver have a lot of comeback wins. I, the reason why I made my comments at that time you know, they were playing terrible, only down by 10. I thought they were going to have a lot more heart and come out with a sense of urgency and then, you know, cut it to six, cut it to four. But 
They laid an egg. They how, quit tonight. How much of this is also a function of really good Phoenix defense? Mm, I, I, I would say this. <laughs> you I, know, mean, no, we, we, I mean, no. We, no, I know. We, we, hear a lot about, we hear a lot about sense of urgency. You heard Mike Malone say they didn't play with heart or whatever. They didn't play with intensity and passion. Well, what does that really mean? Like, how can you, like, quantify that and watch it on television? What it means is if I run a, if I run a play and I'm running a pick and roll with Chris Paul and he's able to come off the pick and roll and get a shot, that means we're not playing with effort, energy, or passion because we're in the playoffs. We know this play already. So he, they have to go to the second option. So when Chris comes off, he should have to make one pass, and then the person rolling should have to make another one. And then that guy makes a shot with a hand in his face, we shake their hand. But what we saw on every occasion is every first option working. Fast break, guys driving the lane. He, I don't know how you could go from free throw line to layup, and, and you're not the point guard and being beating people down the court. We saw that in the highlights. Someone has to stop the ball, just like in a fifth grade, seventh grade ball, uh, basketball game, stop the ball, make him pass, he goes, and now the other one drops. So now you're making – that's how you can quantify not playing with passion, and that's what Denver did not do. Yeah, uh, uh, this game reminded me of the Milwaukee Bucks game the other night where they're like, we just quit. This game is over. We're not going to compete. <laughs> and it, it disappoints me because, man – there's nothing like the playoffs. Like the regular season, when you're in game 39 and you don't play two, <laughs> four games in five days, game 52, 62, but when you get a day off in between, after you got your butt kicked in game one, you get MVP the day before, and then you come out and don't give any effort. That was that, like, like Shaq, you know, I, and I told Shaq, because Denver has come and had some games where they come back, came back in the second half. But that team tonight, they packed it in. I have a question for you, and I, because I found this interesting. Uh, Chris Haynes had a report early in the game talking about what happened after the game in the Denver locker room that apparently a couple of players, you know, got up and were talking about playing soft and, and, and playing scared, and Aaron Gordon was one of them. Is it unusual for a guy who's only been with you for 25 games to be one of the voices who's going to come out and say, you guys aren't doing this and you guys aren't doing that? Well, and it's different on every team. Yeah. It, uh, and then a, don't you have to come out and have more than a six-point game on this? Yes, you do. Well, you know, your boy Kenny you here do. said he had to have a good game. Uh, and you can't be cursing other people out and come out and get six. But every team is different. It's, a lot of times it's not the best player who's the most vocal guy. I mean, I don't, it's, Tim Duncan's is the greatest power for whatever. I don't think he did a lot of talking on the Spurs. He let his play do the talking. But Aaron said that you can't come out and get me six. Uh, you can't get me six if you've been calling out other people. And, you, and you, first of all, you got to be diving all over the floor. You got to show me something. You can't get six if you're telling everybody else, call, especially publicly, calling each, everybody soft and things like that. Yeah, 123.98. Phoenix dominant so far in this series up two zip and of course teams up two zip when what not 94 percent of the time and they're, they're like 322 something morgan like that. i love me some gizzards i ain't gonna lie <laughs> uh -huh. that, that kind of did throw you for a loop for oh you. man That's anytime i get some some chitlins and some gizzards oh my gosh <laughs> i love chit i don't care what the hell y'all know oh look at them gizzards man oh, the washington, washington gizzards. gizzards come on man i love gizzards is what that a look? fly on the food there is a fly on the food Look at there. Right there, there's a fly on that. Oh, yeah, sure is. Oh, there's a fly on there, man. That's why you don't eat 